What's going on, guys? It's Palm. Uh, today we're going to be doing part two of the Contractors COD Z series. This video, I'm going to show you how to put the Contractors kit, well, the COD Z kit into Contractors Unreal Engine. So, um, first, we're going to open up the link in the description. I'm going to have this down there. It's going to be the COD Z kit. I already have mine downloaded, so you just want to download it. Um, once it's done downloading, you just find it. I put it on my desktop, and then you want to extract it. So just right click it and then extract. I got mine right here. Um, next, you just want to open up a new file explorer, find where you put your kit. You want to open it up, go to your project, and then go right to the content. I have a lot more in mine. You won't have as much, but once this is done extracting, all you want to do is drag and then copy into the content. I'm going to let this do its thing. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, once it's done, just want to head back over here, see if everything's in here, there's nothing in here, this happened last time, no idea why, let's try changing the name, there we go. So, for some reason, mine changed the name. Uh, there we go. Yep, everything's better. Let's fix up the redirectors, make sure everything's cool. Alright, once it's in here, all you want to do is just drag it into your mod. Everything that you want to be in the mod, you must have in here. So, we're just going to move it here. And if it's not in there, it's just not going to show up in the map. But this is going to take a little bit, so I will be back once this is done. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, I realized we did something wrong. You guys probably have gotten tons of errors, but we're going to fix that real quick. So open up your task manager. We're going to close Unreal Engine. I already fixed it, but I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. So just close Unreal, and we're going to go into our file explorer, go to our mod project, go to the content, and we're going to delete the cause zombies folder. Um, and we're going to go back to where we have the extracted version. I opened it with WinRAR, the zipped or the RAR file. And instead of extracting it, we're just going to drag this one, the COD Zombies, not the actual folder. We're just going to extract the one inside of it. So you just want to drag this into the content and then do everything I told you to do before. Um, and then once it's in there you'll be able to move it into your project but mine is currently finishing up it's cleaning up the assets um sorry I messed it up guys it's been a while since I've created a new project so I forget what to do but I was just messing around with it for like a half hour and I figured it out but this is almost done okay guys I'm back that took too long but once it is inside of your mod, you want to right click your mod and then you want to fix up all the redirectors to make sure everything is set. Um, but this is how you download the Kazi kit. You can mess around, figure everything out. The game logic, it has all the buyables, the mystery box. Um, remember these are drag and drop. So if you want a mystery box, all you have to do is literally just drag it in. Um, but I recommend setting up a world, maybe grab some cubes. Let's turn this to unlit because we don't have any lighting in the map. Maybe just make a cube, you know, spread it out. Spread the cube out. 
and um, you can make it a little bigger. You want to add some spawn points. start this is where you will load in but if you know if you want to just test stuff out drag and drop um, go to your world settings and make sure you add the Kazi game mode and then every time you come up here and press play it'll load you in as the game mode but you know you can just here, let's add Let's add the Kazi settings. We're going to go into this a little more in the next couple of videos, but I'm just going to show you how you can set this up for yourself. Just drag this in. It's your settings. Um, your, the round you start on, the amount of points. You can change everything in here. But, um, let's add a zombie spawn. So let's go to game logic, AI spawners and then let's just add a zombie spawn point and we'll just have attack player it'll spawn in and it's just going to attack the player once we load in so let's add a skylight for now and let's put this to one let's add a directional light place it this way change this to lit Alright, and then to press save and play as client. Alright, let's press play. escape real quick um, what was it let's move all of this up just a little bit have it above f11 let's also add a is it called a zone no it's called area let's add an area blueprint real quick this is going to be our first area and then we want the zombie to spawn in this area. Right, let's try this again. Let's go to these settings. We're not gonna want that. Um, all right, this should work. You can just press play. Also don't have a sky. So yeah, no, we're not gonna add that yet. Right, let's try this again. Keeps. Imagine that. We need to turn the power on. How original! Should be working for you. Um, it's not, you know, it's probably because I'm recording, but once you press play, you should load in. You can look around and walk around. But um, this is the second video, how to download the Kazi kit. We'll go more in depth with it, but for right now, 
your homework is to just mess around with the kit, open everything, try to figure out what everything does, and in the next video I will show you how to extract the diarize map from BO2. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.